Hello everyone, myself Dr. Dibanjan Mandal, I'm a physical therapist. Today we are going to perform pronator drip test. Generally we do this test patient who has an upper motor neural lesion. So patient should be in sitting position if patient is able to sit. Otherwise we can do this test in supine line position. So in supine line position, arm position should be like 45 degree flexion. So if patient is not be able to sit, so that time we have to do this test in supine line position. While supine line position, we have to tell the patient to flex the shoulder at 45 degree and supine your forearm or palm should be facing towards the ceiling and hold this position. Close your eyes and hold this position for 20 to 30 seconds. If patient has an upper motor neural lesion, they will not be able to maintain this position. Either they will go for a pronation or they will bend their arm. So if we have to perform this test in sitting position, we have to tell the patient to bend his shoulder at 90 degree and forearm should be in supination, eyes should be closed and hold this position for 20 to 30 seconds. While doing this test, if patient is not able to maintain this position, if there is some movement in the arm or patient is going for pronation, or bending little bit that means it's a positive sign yeah. it could be indication for that there is some problem in the corticospinal tract to the opposite hemisphere sometimes patient can be maintained this supine position but they will not be maintained the finger extension and elbow extension position so they will bend little bit or might be there is some wavering movement would be there or if we ever tap the arm relax if we are going to tap the arm, they will not be able to maintain this position. Either the arm will fall down or might be they will not take their position back. So this is all about potato drip test. Now we are going to perform Romberg test which generally we do for upper motor neural lesion. So patient should be in a standing position, feet should be close together, arm should be on side position, close your eyes and hold this position for 20 to 30 seconds. If patient is not able to maintain this position, if there is excessive sway or patient is not able to maintain this balance, so that will be considered as a positive sign of, of Rumbug test. So this test we generally do for upper motor neural lesion. So this is all about Rumbug test.